Hey, my cool spideys, hope everything would be good and you are fantastic on your way. We will be learning about version control, source control, and a GitHub. We are basically learning how to manage and maintain our code while working individually or with our team. We have different platforms to deploy our code, just GitHub, GitLab, and we can say Bitbucket. AWS code commit is also there. Heroku also provides some repositories to store for deploying our projects. Uh, before starting this video, let's assume that you are working on some of the project with your colleague, right? Uh, and without version control, let's think of a scenario how it can be difficult for you to scale your code and maintain your code with others. Uh, many developers are remote workers, they work from home. And here, what the cause is, how to maintain our code regularly from all the developers to one. Without further ago, let's do it and make our skills in github we are on our screen and let's have a first look that what is a version control a file directory you are having in your laptop or computer that you maintain regularly like c drive and a d drive you are having with some name so it is just like that and we call this as a platform so let's have a github as a d drive right and inside that you have different repos like different folders for different uh, projects like you are working on react projects somehow and another project you are working on node.js so you open that file and you open those codes in the visual studio and you maintain it and you write a fabulous code right and you're not using any version control there then how can you maintain this code in different versions or different logs that if you are working and then got messed up with that code then how it will be getting back or rolled back so in this D drive we can now do this so we need a github platform where a cloud servers are maintaining our different versions of code as you can see that uh, amazon also provides such great service in s3 storage where there is also called a cloud versioning is there so we can versions are filed in different different part so uh, github uh, platform also provides such a great opportunity for us to maintain this code using repos so every time you commit the code it provides you back with some log id where you uh, you have a different version of your file uh, let's first of all make one uh, account in github okay let's first of all create a new repo here so as you can see just click on new repository and it will again ask you about your logins because it is the first time that you are making a repo so it's just verifying you and now we have uh, our new repository screen so you will find this by create a new repository it will ask for so repository name you can provide it like first uh, repo so it will check that is it already taken or not and now description would be uh, this is my first repo i am creating the we here it will ask for like you have to make this repo public or a private so just click on uh, the suitable one you want to keep it or not like public it will be visible to everyone anyone can clone it to uh, their local devices and if you're keeping it private you can only be able to maintain it right and both in both way you have the access uh, add readme so readme file is that whenever you approach to github uh, profiles of someone so if you saw someone's repo then you can find uh, below of the section you have a readme part where it is have a description about the project what the projects how to install it and what are the consequences what are the things that are missing from this project so these all things we found in this readme file and it is very most important thing to grow in github so everyone can have the knowledge that what your project was upon and is are you working upon right so dot git ignore is the uh, file that contains the file you don't need to commit okay don't need to have in your repo while uh, pushing your code to the 
git repos so dot git ignore uh, contains files like some of the credentials you are using in your project to run those programs uh, somehow it should not be committed with your project so you can choose uh, git ignore just skip this git ignore okay if you want to have this just click on add and select what project you are working on like node if we work so it will present that node it will be ignoring node modules and some of the dot uh, env files and all now after clicking on create repository you will be welcomed with your first repo and the name of your repo is first repo so repo is i told you is just a folder inside a drive which contains the file okay and we have selected git ignore and readme now let's start by installing a git bash to our local device so that we can uh, connect with our git repo and git account get uh, get to our github uh, bash to download it okay so at the first link you will get the uh, git dash hcm.com so get to the downloads and if you are a window user then just simply hit the download from the screen and or a mac user or a linux you can download this from here right uh, just click on downloads and as you can see this the setup is initialized now avoiding these term and conditions because uh, being such a great platform and a big platform so we can have trust on these term and conditions now just like the location where you need to install your git bash and as i was having a git folder already present there because i have just in installed that uh, git bash for my device so let's say yes and now it will ask some of the checkpoints where uh, you want to have on the desktop icon you want to have a on right click you will get git bash here git gi here and git large file support okay dot git okay dot sh file so i will also uh, tell you that dot sh file how to create them and let's hit the next button and this is the way it will create a git folder okay we don't have any problem with it and it will use vim v vim and vi also are there so vim is the upgraded version of vi hit the next button and now uh, let git decide would be the best thing most probably we work upon and yes we have to be default here too because get from the command line and also from the third party software so we will be using different CLIs different terminals to operate git so we don't want that we only are accessing our git from say CMD or so now let's have the open SSL library here uh, most of the checkpoints are very suitable for every user so we don't have to make any changes right here okay now let's do uh, next and default far forward merge and get credential core that your credentials would be saving in the window credentials manager i will be showing that where these credentials are being saved to your device um, okay now just install it uh, so these credentials are very necessary for you to operate your uh, git repos in your local system so it is just like authentication provided by git that yes this device is um, belong to mine and i will be pushing and pulling those codes because it is just a security level so let me show you that where all credentials are saved windows credentials like we are using like for me it is mongodb here adobe apps that i am using so you can see that bitbucket i am using code commit aws uh, credentials are also present and docker and these all are the things that uh, whenever you wonder that i have entered the passwords and now it is working self um, authentication so it is provided by this window credentials okay i will be launching this git bash from here only now you can see this is the terminal that you will get a command prompt type terminal git bash and as i was talking to you this uh, after right clicking you will be getting git bash here git uh, gui here uh, first of all let's make a, a directory in our desktop right we are in the desktop here so now let's make one directory here uh, mkdir okay with the name of first repo okay first repo and let's move into our first repo here okay first repo and we are in the uh, repo directory first repo directory and here we will just type code dot this will open our vs code to our device and 
this is the VS code that you will be getting after downloading it you just have to configure new things like the theme that I am using here the extensions that we we have to use here uh, like uh, these are the extensions that you can download it first of all let me show you that how to initialize your git first we have to clone our repo that we have created in our new account so for that we have to initialize our git so for initializing it from your directory just type git and you can have git config you can add dash g or double dash global okay global and user dot name just remember this command git config okay you have to configure your git with a global parameter and user dot name so here you can provide your username to it and do it great we were having so now just type git config again global user dot email okay so email would be the great one we will be writing our email id that we have provided to get that please use this email id to have a report ready so we have configured git with a username and user email id now let's have git clone and we will just copy this code okay uh, this is the https uh, link from uh, with the help of which we will be able to just clone a repo let's have git clone here and as you can see this we have cloned our uh, repo from github now we are having this git ignore file and readme file okay now let's have one first repo dot html so every time i'm writing first repo because we are working uh, initially to all our repos and file also be a repo so let's have a quick html integration with one h1 tag let's save it and uh, we will run it on our live server so let me show you that how it will look uh, hi i am here let's do it okay and now we will be having one thing more to push this code we have to follow three steps okay first you need to add those changes add those changes means in the stack of order you have to add your changes let me show you git add so you have to remember that git add dash dot like we have written the code dash dot this is, this is a command so let's add it okay so it will say that dot git is not a repository yes because uh, we are not in the suitable directory where our git is initialized so let's move on to our first repo so here if you will do so this was a short mistake that every time we do and ask these questions that why uh, it is showing that git repo it is not initialized to our folder so this is the cause uh, github extension would be uh, notified that something is being added to the stack you can see that st uh, stack changes are also there if i will do git commit m mm, with new okay so this is a commit command commit command is that uh, which will store these commits okay and will have a log that you have committed something but not actually pushed okay pushing will uh, insert this code to your repo but committing means just having the uh, final stack that you need to commit these changes also so now let's commit it as you can see we we have added 12 line of code here with html files okay so one file change and 12 insertion uh, if we would have deleted something from there so it would have provided us that 12 uh, three lines deleted and 12 lines inserted so these all updates are there and you can see this uh, create mode with a link with a with a string of 100644 so this is a log id that we are getting so we can revert these changes back so let's have a, a final a final command that we need to have in a git to push our code so it's just like a git push okay to which origin it will ask so i will be providing the origin which the main so main here is the branch name that we are having let me show you to our git repo so when we initialize a new repo so it will always be providing it, uh, us with the main uh, main branch so what are branches in github 
or version controlling. So while, as I told you, version control are for controlling your different file versions, okay? With that, uh, if you are having multiple users working on the, uh, on the same project, then they will have a different branch. On these different branches, they can commit their own code. But it will not be getting in changes in your main branch or in your branch just it will help them to commit and pull all those codes they are they are working on so after finalizing that so we will be merging all the branches to a main file so it always helps us to making different branches and working on different features so these are the things that how you control your branches and how you make it like here we are having just one branch right for the initial phase let me push this code to our main branch then i will show you how to create a new branch in git let's have a git push origin main and here you are welcome with a new prompt that you have to give git a initialization that you are a, a user that is authenticated so it will redirect us to a browser so here it will ask for authentication of git credential manager so as i was showing you the window credentials so it will get saved there as we are logged in already so now you can see that after visiting back to our visual studio port our code has been pushed to successfully to our repo so this is how we add our code commit our code and then push our code so this is a final three step initialization and pushing that code and committing that code and you will have this first repo.html file uh, present in our repo now let me show you how to create branches okay let's get back to the terminal let's create a new branch first with the help of git branch you will get to know that how many branches are there in your project so let's hit that command and you as you can see this it will show you main branch only right because we are having a main branch to our project now add one branch okay uh, git branch with new name do it okay again do uh, git branch to check what all branches we have so it will give us do it and main right it is good that we have created a new branch here and uh, now let's check out to our new branch so for checkout means let's open the doors of our new branch and let's get enter to that what all our things present there right so check out git check out to remember this as you can see this switch to branch do it and you can see from the world visual studio code that new branch has been introduced do it and now the code would be the same because we have created this branch from our main branch so the code would be the same and now let's make changes to this branch okay let's commit these changes to our repo git add git commit just do remember these three commands to push our code in our repo with a branch okay so you can see this uh, we are having one string so this is a log id as i already told you just you have to remember the basics that uh, while creating the branch while uh, pushing the code uh, while i will tell you how to pull the code and how to merge the code let's do it here so git push origin now git push origin to which branch we have to make it so we have a branch of to it so now as you can see the, this code will be uh, pushed to our new branch called do it and yeah it's great that we are having a new branch now i will show you that what happened when we switch back to our main branch uh, is this code would be present that uh, in which i have written i am in do it branch let's uh, check it out git check out main branch okay so as we have moved towards checkout branch and you can see this we don't have those line of code here so it, they are now separated they are now separated now uh, if you want that i want to merge this code git merge just remember this merge for merging it's a simple command git merge from which branch you have to merge from do it you can see it's a simple chance that we have now got our changes to our 
main branch too. So this was the merging process and I really like Bitbucket in this case. This, this was a merging command that we performed here. So sometimes uh, people face conflicts in the merging uh, time because some of the developers wouldn't have pulled the code um, before writing a new code to the repo. Like I will be showing you this how it is performed. Uh, let's have add this code to our uh, main branch. Okay. Uh, let's commit it first because it will show me that there is nothing so initial so as you can see one commit has been done so git push origin main okay so now you can see this uh, we are pushing this code to our main first we have merged that then we are pushing it okay it's a great practice we are having right now with our git so as you can see this we have pushed our code to a main branch let's check out to our uh, previous branch of do it okay we are in our do it branch and here what we will do is move on to our do it branch from our github.com uh, it is a manual way that we are doing it from the git okay let's move on to our first repo so what we will do is i will edit this code and i will add the h1 tag so let's save it let's firstly commit these changes okay as you can see we have successfully added this line of code now you can see this that we are not getting any of the uh, specifications here that some of your code has been uh, changed or you have to pull this these things you just have to check first that is there any pull uh, that we have to perform and now we will be pulling our code uh, our do it branch the changes that we have made in our github.com so let me once again check out to a branch uh, do it okay we are in a do it branch now uh, get pull origin do it so as we were doing git push we are doing git pull so that we can pull that code to our repo and as you can see this i have pulled this code uh, from the vs code terminal and our code has been pulled let's have a scenario where we got with the conflicts right uh, let's make some changes here h1 i am making conflicts so this is a bad dream for every developer that uh, their teammates just broke their code by not pulling the code now uh, let's make some changes here now everything was going good and now one of your uh, one of your dumb mind just forget to pull those codes and uh, i will write here that hey you forgot to pull okay committed very quickly from our github.com and now as i am a pro developer i will make my own changes here right uh, so hey i am very good at github but dumbo uh, that guy has made some changes please pull that from there uh, but you don't know that <laughs> uh, that he has made changes and you don't have habit of pulling the code and directly you are a great developer so uh, you will be already committing it and pushing that code to your branch and as you can see for these only git will provide you some errors that hey buddy there were some changes that you have not pulled from that place so just first of all pull and then push it code simply it will take just seconds and you can see this now now the great fun is here that you you have added uh, both the codes in the same line right uh, in the th 13 line i think yeah 13 line i think or a 14 uh, we have added the same line of code so even uh, i have written hey i am very good at github and another hey you forget to pull so the blue changes that you are seeing is the incoming changes from your developer okay that he has made and but the head is for from your changes that you have made in your current program so you have to uh, take decision that what changes we have to accept so 
from here you can accept that you have to uh, accept the current changes or the incoming changes from there it will remove your code then and accept both changes so both changes are we will have both the lines okay and compare changes so compare changes will take you to another screen with two different bars and it will compare that which line was changed and which was which wasn't so just i will accept the both so as you can see both the lines are here right and we are ready to commit this code very uh, securely and very in a good manner so this is this should be so this should be a good practice to have your code ready pull and then you make changes and then push so as you would have seen the conflicts that we have got that on the same line we were having two of the codes and uh, if you would have already pulled that code this problem won't be here so this conflicts and all things are the common part of the programming life so it is not a big deal but uh, just remembering these uh, concepts uh, before making changes and making all these efforts to your code you have to just remember it as of now uh, i think we have completed all the uh, basic rules uh, one thing i forget and i got in my mind that we have to make uh, one of the changes here right uh, so first of all let's check our uh, git logs and git status so git status so git status would provide you that when was the modified done on which uh, file the modification was done and with respect to this we can have our logs ready okay so git log and you can see this it will provide you all the uh, current logs that we have performed and uh, just entering it you will get all the details let's make a rollback okay for making the rollback let me show you that uh, how to get a one line a log id and what were the lines were changed so we have to have the knowledge of this also so i will write one line so it will give all the uh, commits in one line only so earlier we were having different lines and it was so long that it got stuck so now as you can see the log ids are here and it is also saying that on br which branches we have done the commits so uh, it will provide us do it mm, branch commits only so uh, now for uh, rollback we have two things one is reset and revert so for revert uh, it will add a new commit uh, log to our uh, commit logs and we will get to know that we have made any changes or uh, revert back the changes but in the reset it will reset the current uh, update okay uh, current commit and it will change it it will reset the pointer that commit pointer we call it to the one we are changing or reverting back so using rollback we can have a checkout also get checkout to the logs that log id we can provide it or we can reset it or we can revert it so i have told you that uh, how a revert works and how a reset works so revert is just like let me give you an example uh, get revert okay now you can see that as we have used the get revert uh, command and it is asking for the changes uh, like uh, <clears throat> which you have to keep so i will use uh, incoming changes so as we have revert the changes so it is it has removed are both of the changes and now we are done with our github tutorial we have learned so much things here we have learned how to manage our source code and how to maintain it and how it helps in uh, scalability of the project when we are working with team or we are working as an individual hope everything that i delivered was understood by you and will practice more on this uh, and uh, as an assignment or you can do as a project of yours that you can have a file in a directory and just uh, make changes to it and commit those changes to your own github account and pull those codes and push those codes and also merge these codes create new branches and have a fun with these branches to check out new things what all you can do with github so after all just like this video and subscribe this 
channel gray out that subscribe button until we grow to a community where we are discussing all our regular facts and programming stuffs so it's cool not only programming stuff but i'm good at uh, many things uh, we'll uh, let you know slowly when we are in a growing phase phase i'm not connected to much subscribers here and uh, we are i'm alone i'm feeling alone because i'm just uploading these videos and uh, some of them are watching but not communicating in the comment section so hope uh, if you like this video and uh, want to communicate and have um, some questions in your mind about git and version controlling then you can surely be asking this these in the comment section say goodbye now and uh, we'll come up with some great contents over time so hope everything would be good and hope my spideys would be good